Yes, One PC setups have become incredibly viable, especially with the release of the new NVENC encoder and the new Turing architecture of NVIDIA's latest line of GPUs, but there are still advantages to two PC setups. On a One PC setup, even though, sure, newer GPUs have dedicated encoders built into them, your OBS is still utilizing resources from your CPU, your RAM, your storage, and even the rest of your GPU. Your stream and the game are sharing resources from that PC. And as soon as you fire up a game that's either poorly optimized or just crazy graphic intensive, that is going to start eating up into your stream's available resources. And even on high-end PCs, you could start dropping frames, streaming frames. This means that every time you wanna add a new function to your stream, you have to test it out with your most intense game to see if they can still work well together. And unless you're like one of those PC master race people who like knows how to allocate certain processor cores to dedicated functions, which, Honestly, if you're watching this video, that's probably not you, it's not me. There's really no way to avoid this happening. And I get asked questions about two PC setups a lot. With a two PC setup, however, that separation of hardware provides a protective brick wall between your resources. So the next time a major developer releases an early access game, which for some reason seems to be the latest thing to do, and it's poorly optimized and starts really eating into your gaming resources, your streaming PC is entirely untouched. In fact, it, it, it as far as it knows, there's nothing going wrong on the gaming side at all. I've been wanting to get into PC builds on this channel for a really long time to help you guys out with uh, cheap PC builds, new hardware releases, stream setups, all the things. And now that this channel has been growing at a rapid rate and the community has just blown up in support, we now have more resources to start doing things like building PCs on this channel and helping you guys understand what hardware you need, what hardware you don't need. Get you guys the technical help that you need to make your streams run smoothly. I'm very excited that we can do this because it can be outrageously expensive. <laughs> We're gonna avoid those ones for a little bit. We'll get there though. The other good news is that while I have built a grand total of two PCs in my life, including the uh, the streaming PC behind me, my good friend Andy, who you know as Lemonade from either my Twitch stream or from previous videos, has built a little closer, probably around 100? Coming up on 100 PCs and is... Uh, smarter than me in every way. Is that what you wanted me to say? Are we... Are we good? You'll you'll help with the video now? Anyway, he's gonna help me explain today's PC build, but if he tries to tell you that he carries me when we game, I need you to don't listen to him. Do you hear me? Don't listen! Welcome to the Alpha Gaming Channel. I'm Lemonade, and today we're gonna build a streaming PC. Before we get started, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, Friday. If you have any build questions, any technical questions, or you just want to see me uh, carry Harris in Apex Legends, feel free to drop by. Uh, link is in the description down below. In this build, I went with the NVIDIA GTX 1660 because it's the cheapest NVIDIA GPU that still gets you the new NVENC encoder. Aside from that, the goal of this build was to be as affordable as possible, so we went with the Ryzen 3 2200G. Uh, it has more than enough power and uh, it's only 80 bucks. I use PC Part Picker. It's a fantastic website that helps you get rid of a lot of incompatibilities when you're picking out parts. Um, so it won't recommend you parts. Like if you're looking at an AMD processor, it's not gonna recommend you an Intel motherboard with an X99 chipset and you order it and it ends up not working. From there, we're gonna get the, the Ryzen 3 2200G. Um, that's a quad core, 3.5 gigahertz. Uh, uh, you can overclock it, but for this build, for these reasons, we're not gonna do any sort of overclocking. For the cooler, we're just using the standard cooler. It's not gonna make any sort of difference if we have a fancy water cooler or not. We could probably run this at top clock speed uh, for a really long time. Uh, and it probably wouldn't even throttle itself just because architecturally it's not meant to be a huge power sink. It's a low wattage processor. There we go. We got it. It's a low wattage power processor. Power Ranger. Power Ranger. Got it. It's a Power Ranger. For the motherboard, we're just going to go the B450 Micro ATX motherboard. So uh, we don't need a whole lot. So for the RAM, we're getting one stick of uh, 8 gigs DDR4 2400 megahertz memory. Um, and I know for the Ryzen uh, 2 series, it is optimal to have 2666. But once again, we don't really care. We're just getting this thing off the ground and being able to stream it as high quality uh, and cutting the corners that won't affect quality. As far as the hard drive goes, uh, it's just going to be SSD, 240 gig. It's going to be $29. So for the GPU, we're going with the Gigabyte GeForce 1660 6 gig card, which 
The RAM on it is great, but what we're really interested in is the encoder. It's the meaty part of the PC. That's the meatiest part of the PC. Uh, yeah. It's going to be good. Another thing that a lot of people do is they, they over allocate for uh, watts on their uh, power supply. Everyone thinks you need 850 watts and or 1000 or 1600. You don't need any of that. Most PCs, if you're just using a single graphics card and just you're not doing any crazy overclocking, uh, you can get away with a 500, 550. Uh, the only reason I go bigger, um, you know, big truck. Why do, why do small guys drive big trucks? I mean, another thing to not do is to cut corners on a lot of these pieces. Like if you if you see a power supply that you you've never seen the brand and you have no idea what it is, don't trust it. Get a name brand. But make sure to get the appropriate wattage that's going to be the appropriate price for your for your build. The motherboard is surprisingly important and picking it out. Um, there's a lot of things you actually need to look for. Uh, one thing is name brand. You want name brand, something you recognize. Ace Rock, Acer, uh, Asus, Gigabyte, MSI. Um, all those reputable brands are going to get you a good motherboard that have the proper chipset for your processor. Don't trust anything that's you've never heard of once again if you haven't heard of it don't buy it looking at the motherboard we're not gonna have a bunch of fans but something to keep an eye out for is making sure you have enough fan headers uh, for all the the case fans so you can control all the fan speeds from your bios ram slots i mean all these chipsets for any of the 450s 570s any of those are all going to be dual channel you don't need to worry about quad channel um and also quad channel and dual channel it's not going to make a difference for obs the the speed gains would I don't even think you'd see any. As far as the, the PCI slots, I want to make sure I get at least two because we're going to potentially have a capture card in this PC. That's why I didn't go with a mini ITX motherboard. Um, 16X, both of them, we have the option to do a, a graphics card and any other peripherals that we want in the in the 1X. So that's, that's pretty much the whole build right there. The whole thing is $575.81. All right, that is our, our baseline. That's what we're starting at. We'll do some cheaper ones in the future, see how cheap we can get a streaming PC, but but I think I think for our first streaming PC build, I think that's a good place to start. Absolutely. I'm excited. Bye! So I threw it all together, and I'm normally on a one PC setup, so I decided to take this PC and use it as my streaming PC and just start throwing things at it and see what it could handle. I think we're, we're ready. Let's uh, start streaming. So we learned a lot. I think we overbuilt this thing. Dude, that's only using 4% of the CPU. I think we could actually go cheaper. We 100% could have gone that's cheaper. That's a Ryzen 3, right? Yeah. 100%. Is there, an, is there a cheaper Ryzen 3? Abs. There, no, it's called an, it's an Athlon 64. It was like Athlon 64 II or whatever. It's a $55 processor. I think we could have gone away with it. Because right now we're literally at 5.1% and we're streaming at 60 FPS. This is silky smooth. In 1080p? 1080p. 6,000 uh, 6, 6, bitrate? 6,000 bitrate. And look at that. 11, now, so... What's the GPU at? The GPU is 29%. That's it? Yep, 30%. CPU just spiked up to 32. Yeah, there's going to be intermittent spikes just because, you know, it's a system that's running. But overall, I mean, it's like 13, 12%. I mean, that's pretty stellar. So far, we haven't dropped a single frame. Zero frames, dude. No frames dropped. CPU usage 1.6 goes up to four. Next test. I mean, we it's kind of passed with flying colors. So let's bump it up to high quality. You want to just go straight up to high quality, low latency? Max quality, low latency. It's max quality, low latency. Very low latency quality. Almost, almost, keep going. There you go. GPU, the highest I've seen GPU spike up to is 42. Not a single dropped frame. I want to see what this looks like on your phone. Dude, your stream is silky smooth. So unless you have Chrome running, CPU never eclipsed 50% and the GPU never went past 42%. Yeah, do, do all of them. Raid. Oh, look at that. 98% CPU, so it like kicks up real quick to a huge amount of CPU when it's first trigger from it's doing Chrome, yeah. So what you're saying is Chrome is a RAM hog. So I'm what saying Chrome is a CPU Sorry, CPU. Dang it. CPU bulldozer. Like, 
Just don't, you don't, just don't run Chrome. Do it all inside the OBS Windows and you're fine. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's insane. We got WebM, WebM stuff running. We got a stream running at 1080p, 60 frames a second. We should have gone cheaper. <laughs> we could have absolutely gone cheaper. We definitely should have gone cheaper. I think we're gonna need to revisit this video in the future and see how cheap we can go. Just a reminder, if you have any questions about this build or any other build, uh, my Twitch is in the description down below. We also have a great community. If you want to talk to anyone about your PC build, link to the Discord is down below. And as always, happy streaming. Two down. Three down. He's hurt.